guy here. That guy. Well, I'm just going to say it since we're talking about this, but my number six pick would be 07. Yeah, it would be the Mari Wave, just because uh, the story did feel a little repetitive after the Paraka, and I do and all the builds are a step down. Still a spectacular, but a step down. The biggest thing with it was that it was the first wave I got everything to, at least on the store shelves. I don't really count the little poly bags and whatnot, but the, the main sets, I got them all. And let me tell you, Gedunka is a fun kit. That one, that's a standalone set that anyone could be happy with. Best uh, Titan actually from that one. Gedunka's okay. Gedunka's okay. I don't know. I think I got, because I got Gedunka much later than you guys did. So I always felt left out. So I kind of have this little spot about, and I never got to build Gedunka. I got him pre built at um, BrickCon. So, and he's basically just pissing the box. If I actually brought him out, play with him, I'd probably like him more. But as it stands, I actually have Karzani ranked higher than Gedunka in my mind. But maybe that's just because he's worth more, so my brain's more proud of it. I don't know. I've he heard... also has just Karzani has three figures in the trap to offer, so he just has more to offer. Also, I, I just don't like the fact that Gedunka has a squid launcher. That bothers me so so snack. much. Yes, it's just a snack. But so yeah. I'm definitely gonna say 06 is better than 07, but not by much. I think the story of 06 may be better. But there's more story content for 06 because of different, like, games and such. It's, they're very much two peas in a pod. I just have slight personal preference, more nostalgia towards, plus, plus, 06 brought us the greatest Bonkle set ever, Good Guy 2006. Hail Denmark. Hail Denmark. He's not the greatest. He's not the greatest set ever. Just maybe the greatest character ever. Hail Denmark. No, no, he's he's both. He's the greatest everything. He is the greatest Bionicle to ever Bionicle. Now who's simple? But <laughs> see, at this point, so basically, I basically, I still have 04 ranked higher than 06 and 07. Maybe not. The sets are not better. I. The thing is, I like the the Toa Metro. I still like way more than the Nika. The Titans, I like 06s more than 04s, and the Matoran, I do like more like. 04 is my third favorite year. A lot of that is nostalgia. And I was the, I'm of the three boys. I had the most Vaki. I had like 20 plus Vaki as an art. Now, eight. well, no, six and seven, like, like I said, we're kind of moving upwards. You can move this. I won't go to the, my top two, which one I like more than what, but I was just saying like, we were talking about 04 earlier. So I was just saying, I like it more than 06 and 07. I, so we're I not necessarily on a number system. We're, we're working, we're starting. We're, we are working our ways up, but we so, were benching 04 enough earlier that I'm like, this is where it's my official plays. I like it more than 06 and 07. So where is that? You're in your seventh lap? Or that's that's place? that's third place for me. How did I, you get that high? We were just talking about number six. Because I mentioned a while ago that 09 I liked there. Because whenever someone brings up one, then I mention where is my ranking. So... At the end of, like, once we kind of get to the top, I'm going to basically have us go through our year rankings to compare. But the figure that we're kind of on the same ballpark, you two are both on the, for six and seven, the Mari and the Baraka, Baraka wave. Yeah. More or less. I, I find 06 better than 07. Yeah. That, and they're what's, what's basically. What's opinion? Yeah, Eck, what, what do you say? Where is that? And where do they um, fit with you? Yeah, they're range? right up there. I don't. I haven't read them down or nothing. I, I maybe well, should. Well, just think in your head how many are above them, Jack. I, I'm pretty sure at the way I've they're, mentioned they're it, they're basically three and four. Same. Mine are. Well, mine's mine's five and four. I'll, I'll be you, Zach. Tower. Yours sits at um. What what positions? Okay, if we're if for, starting for at the bottom one. For, for 06 and 07. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, yeah. Number six. Number. Well, oh. Mari Wave is number six, starting from bottom to top, or going one, two, three, four, five, six, as in ten the best. Water is number six, and I will so get to Boya Nui when <laughs> I get to when we get there. Okay, well, okay. If um the worst is ten, where was where is the uh ten's the best? No, ten's the worst. We started at one and we're going up. No, no, 2010 is number ten. The number one spot is the best spot. I, you start from the bottom, you work way up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1. 10's a bigger number than 1, so 10 should be better. 10 is 1, but with a decimal point removed. It's lame. Okay, we, we're going to grab that. But, so basically, we're all going to have 07 roughly the same place, then, it seems. Yes. That it's on the top half, but isn't the best, but is better than the average. So, basically, we can kind of move on to third favorites, I think, roughly. 
Well, my fourth favorite okay, well, mention your fourth is favorite. Metra Nui, the first wave. Mm, it's good and all, but I think the fact that it's a prequel does kind of rub me a wrong way. We could have got a new fresh Toa, we just got the Tragus <laughs> Toa. Are, are you against prequels? Are you a prequel hater? Do you, do you dislike Anakin Skywalker? Sequels are worse. They are terrible. So wait, you're saying 06 and 07? I mean, I well, I like how the Matoran got to the island. It's kind of important how we found this out because it plays the whole thing. S prequels have a way of poking holes in otherwise solid plot. I didn't really feel like it poked in. And I just, you know, I really didn't. Like it's a good story, and I like a lot of the bonus. I just have to put it lower than some other stuff because, honestly, when it came to like the actual stories, those are the ones I had the hardest time getting through. Mm. See, I, I, the I would also admit that O four for me does have a level bias because it was my first. Yeah, okay, I don't hate Krek as much as everyone else because it was my first time. Now, I am not saying it's a good set. I will still admit he's the worst Titan set. But I have a soft spot for the, that ugly mug of his. That horrible, ugly mug. And like I said, 04... We're not even sure where his mug actually is. But like I said, I really do feel like the Total Metro duel. And like I said, that's when... Don't get me wrong, 04 confused the heck out of me as a kid. Because it's, it's basically when things were getting like expanded, but not explained. So things were still confusing at that point. But I also do, do, do just love Makuta's role in 04 and how that all played out. And Leekon as a character was great. Despite his set not coming out until 05, I don't know. 04 for me very much sits in my third place. My fourth place would be 06. So. I may have moved 04 up in my rankings a little bit just because I really like the movie. The story is just okay, fine, but the movie is really good. The the movie, I will, you know, we'll have that discussion another time about how the four movies where we rank them and, and the Netflix, how we feel about that. Yes, someday. I just really like that movie. So, next week. I think we mostly covered 04 because we all had them in roughly different spots. We need to, like, watch all the movies, like, back to back to back to back to back or something. Then we can really Gosh, rank them. There's only four. I don't think it's that difficult. And the Netflix show! <coughs> that's on the bottom. That's the bottom. We all know that. You know, that's going to be difficult because Mate, well, at least one of them I have, like, memorized so much that it's harder to just enjoy the movie as the movie because you know it, like, See? the back of your hand. So you get a biased opinion where the others, you're like... Oh, yeah, this note. is better than I remember. I'm actually kind of curious whether or not I'd like, um, hmm, like, um, the Legend Reborn more or less than the Netflix one. Because I have, I have a lot of issues. Don't get me wrong, the Netflix It is shorter. Good, but they kind of have, like, their own stuff. But moving on to third favorites. Are third we good? favorites. As I said, I mine is 2004. Eck, what's your third favorite? The way I have it, it's 06, and we've already mentioned this. Hmm. All right. Mine would be 03. I love the Mask of Light. It has the Toa Nuva. I mean, it had the Toa and the, the wave that I was the most into. It was like, I was really into Bionicle, but I got, I just like a few things a little more, but it's fantastic. I just can't put it in the top three. Also, the Mask of Light might actually be a weaker movie for me just because I've watched it too, so much. Way too much. See, I'm just going to move so straight on to um, second listing for me just because mine is 03. It slots right into here. I will say that 03, um, because, again, the Mask of Light elevated to a level of beauty. The Titans of the Gawkabird, Taku and Puku, Makuta. I mean, you actually got a Makuta set. I'm Takanuva, as a set. The lead up to Takanuva was amazing. The Rakshi, as like the first like really poseable characters, were just. So fun. The Matorn, I don't know if I like it more than the Mat the Tohunga, but the Matorn, but I do really, really love the Coley Matorn. And as for all that's a person, I almost, I love the Borok Hall. Yes. Are they recolors of the Borok? Yeah. But I think at least for like half of them, the silver looks, they look better than the original ones. Because I think the like Nuvok Call, Galak Call, and Korok Call arguably look better than the regular Borok variation. Brown's the only one I would say that actually took a dip in red, maybe, but I, I do just really like 03. There's especially one more can say this the Mask of Light Rakshi arc elevates it so much. Yeah, the Borok Call is just a little side thing that happens, but the other stuff is so good that it just brings it up. I am in agreement with Ongramil here. 03 is my second favorite year. The Titans, 
They're early. Makuta has his weird leg issue, but I still really like him. What was your third favorite? Oh, six. Was oh, my right. Yes, yes. Sorry. Taku and Pugu. I love that the little crab walking function is awesome. Jalangaku, I think, is the weakest, but it's, it's kind of hard Jala. to set that bird down. Jala's great. I love Jala. Taknuva and Uzunui, wonderful. The Matoran are my favorite Matoran builds. Even though we're lacking certain colors and there's only... It's a, I understand why they did it, but we're still yeah, I, I love the builds. The mm. Rashki, they're a little dull, and they're okay. The Boar Collar, they are what they are. Also, um, 2003 also brought us the second Madden New Online game, which um, I believe I was the first one of us three to complete it. And despite it not being as good as the original, it is still an exceptionally like fun game. Like, yeah, it's a grind game. Like, once you get to a point, you kind of just have to grind for stuff. But there's a level of um, just really real charm to it. This is like, like World of level building world building sorry level, level of world build world building it's full of world building and i love it indeed well uh, since we've established your second favorite my second favorite is voya nui i just uh, dig the story i love the sets it's got if you go with the, the extended stories where it has literally all of my favorite characters the mm -hmm. toa nuva vezon or vezon or vezon or however you want to pronounce it it's got the parak i love them and I quite enjoy the Toenika as characters. So I guess we all can figure out what our favorite wave is nah, by process of well, elimination. Before we get there, I, I would like to say a little bit more about 2006. One thing that I do also really like about 2006, which is the system sets. They, because the system sets for the most part aren't, are a um, non-factor, but because it improved on 2005's system sets... 2005s were a step in an interesting direction, but they were pretty pretty weak sets, 2005s. Mm. So when they got the new figs, you know, which they're actually posable, that's another you know, thing that 2006 had. Like, they weren't great sets. I think I, I, and I, they were the they are the best system sets out of the three waves. They also were the most. Yeah, the 2007 were just a little bit of a step down. I think 2007, looking at pictures, because I don't actually own any, I think the build of the vehicles might be the best. But there's the fig issues in 07's figs. But yeah, no, 2006, there are some times where I definitely say I never did like it as much as Zach Tad. You, from pretty much day one with it, it was your thing. You basically got this proc like right back. It was, it was always your year. After we got over the initial gag reflex of the original first images, <laughs> it was such a gag reflex. With the I proc. owned it. And I mean, like, the Scotty or Paraka were the first mini like was the first set of six that i got all six of them and i think i managed to do it within like a year maybe two pretty quick it was the first like one of any of us siblings to get a full set of six like up to this point the closest anyone got were the borox with five yeah. so we find that was like the first time that happened and it was also when okay historically up to this point we were always basically getting colors like i got all the browns and after that, I would get typically blacks and reds next in line. Because, you know, the Toa Keita, Bonkle very much paired those ones. So those are the ones I targeted. Funny story that. Uh, because I'd currently gone this far without getting a single black Bionicle, I basically told Ek that, you know, I won't get any of his. I asked for the white one for Christmas or my birth... Yeah, for my birthday. I got the black. Which is the only reason which broke the trend and is why I managed to get all sick. Because I'm... Very happy. Somehow I messed up and mom got me the black one instead of the white. We were kind of strange in that particular aspect, but we liked consistency. But uh, don't worry, guys. He's not racist. He, he loves black. Black people are fine. Black, black and whites go very well together, especially when you add a dash of trans neon, neon green. green. I knew it was going to lead there. But yeah, no, like, like I said, I won't. If anyone thinks 06 is the second best, I'm not. I'm definitely not going to argue that. 06 is a really good year. Just for whatever reason, despite all the stuff that was there... It just never quite grabbed me like the Metro New York did. Yo, yo, Paraka, man! <laughs> Suds in the bucket. Suds in the bucket. Well, at first, you don't see the connection to the original... No one's the original, that. like, six waves or something. It definitely had a way of upping the ante in a way that makes it... <laughs> rather than just, let's knock out the evil guy. Like, oh, the whole great spirit is dying. And, uh, oh, I had another point I was going to bring, but, like, it, it upped the ante and, like... I, I just dig it. The only fault I it has for me is I was waiting through the whole wave for that fourth movie 
and it never oh, came. That's true. Also, quickly before we finish up with those things, I want to mention this as a thing. Because, yeah, someday I'm going to do reviews of Bionicles and I'll get to Umbra. But for people who say Umbra doesn't technically have any unique parts, I would like to put a point to um, point make, make a point of contention. Technically, his spinner is. Because the only other way you can get the, the green melded spinner is from a spinner set, which is no guarantee. So, yes, was it designed for him? No, but I would say that is close enough to a unique part because there's no other way you can guarantee getting that part. Similar to like with the Tarakava saying that the um, blue Picari is unique to the set. You're not, you're not going to say it's not unique to the set because some mask sets have it. So, and also, I know half some people don't like Umber's wheels. You guys like the Rahi with their treads, huh? Umber's just brought that back. Okay, my little rant about Umber's... Um, over. I, I, now. I, just waiting. Do we finally get to announce our uh, top hey. pick? Because yes. it's unanimous <laughs> among the three of us. 2001. <laughs> Let's, oh. Hi, 2001. Let's be honest. It's just I know this is like the most cliche thing. Everyone, It's basically like whenever you do like um uh, rankings of... I don't know. It's like, it's, it's like it's a cliche. Like, yeah. Everyone chooses 2001 who grew up with 2001. It's hard not to. It's amazing. It was edgy. There was a level of mystery. Edgy? The story was easy to follow. You know, it wasn't anything complicated. It was charming. But it was cool. And, like, the online anime, the online games, like, it just did it right. And let's be honest, in, like, realm of, like, TV shows, it's either the first season's best and everything goes downhill, or it's, like, it'll peak somewhere in the middle and then it goes down. And I think we could all see this color that this was the best wave. See, let's, let's look at this way. Lego put a lot into the first wave. There, not only was, it was like, a, you know, simpler, so there wasn't like lore bogging down, but there was mystery banking wonder about so many stuff. There was an atmosphere of like, you know, wonder and like, um, uh, charm, but a level of like, everything doesn't seem like, you know, you got this island, a bunch of happy little people, and yet everyone's constantly terrified of like these things. Like there's like a, the evil presence was very much there and like the, at this point, no, it was still a technic. This was just a technic theme. So everybody's got this technic aesthetic to it. And the Rahi, you may not find them the best tit uh, like titans or warrior type things, but I think the Rahi are like the funnest, the not necessarily the best, but the funnest like titan sized Lego sets Lego ever produced. The Rahi are still the things I crave most, mostly because they're one of the few things I don't have. But yes. The original wave is the best. And I was going to say something else, but I lost it. That's good. Heck, would you like to put a few cents before I start reading 2001. The, the Rahi are, yes, agreed. Some of the funnest Bionicle or just Lego sets ever. You try to snap someone of the Muaka, mm, so much fun. The, the Toa, they're simple, but they're great. The masks, designs are, oh, they're wonderful. They're perfect. They were but really art. 2001 also has something that none of the others can compare to is the art. Just the visual imagery of any piece of art from 2001, just, it warms the cockles can of I my just heart. Take, can I just take this moment to quickly thank um, Christian Faber out there for doing uh, most, like, doing a lot of the art for it, just being like, you did an amazing job. And can I just say, 2001 is also where the design for the Vahi came from, and I love the Vahi. Um, I'm actually just going to say that now, since we were talking about, like, the the, the cheer and the mystery of the first wave. That's also one of the reasons Carta Nui is so low on my list. It ruined the mystery of where the Toa came from. That was something I never wanted an answer to or never cared for. It was, they were just there. Also, can I just say that the um, Mari Nui had the best promo videos of them all? Okay, that is true. When you start going to build, like advertisements and promo videos, the later years, like specifically 06, 07, specifically 07, very so much 07. 07 and 08, like, those two had phenomenal. But 2001 also blessed us with the Mata Nui online game. Simple Flash animation game, but it was such a, um... Immersive. Like, the thing is, I'll say this. I did not necessarily grow up playing the game. Sure, mm -hmm. we all grew up with 2001. We were all introduced to Bionicle in the first year. But we were a bit too young or dumb to be playing online Homes games. We were homeschooled. We were homeschooled, so we didn't really have much computer access. I was going to say, it might not have even been young or dumb. It might have just been um restriction. We might not have thought. We, we were too young. We didn't feel like wandering on the internet now, too much. Don't get me wrong. One of our older brothers, um, the Lost Toa, or Robin Hood, I guess as we should start calling him, 
he did play it. I do remember him playing it. Like he may not play it the first year when it was out, but like definitely by 2003 he had played it. And that game, and, he, and basically what you've heard from everybody else, the level of charm, the world building, the mystery was all great. And I just love the world of Matorn. Sure, the grand stories of Toa is always fun, and it definitely is nice, but there, I always do enjoy just like the world building, and that new online game very much did that. And then 2001, you also had, as, as you were saying, the sets, like the Toa. Sure, they aren't as poseable as the Toa Metru, or even as the Toa Inika, but they were like colorful, distinctive, but like uniform. And the masks, no one can argue that the masks of 2001 weren't beautiful because because like the five all but um galleys at least for the toa masks were sculpted like in the actual clay making yes them, that is correct making them quite literally like art like more so than the art like you could argue that all like the design of the masks are a level of art but like i feel like there was more artistic love put into those masks and you can feel it I want to talk about the mask as much as anyone, but perhaps we should save the gimmicks for that. I think you were saying you'll save it for another we already, video. No, like, collectibles we've already done. Yeah. Oh, right. Anyways, it is uh, getting oh, to no, be I, I got quite a plan a for this. I'm going to cut this into two. Okay. So I'm going to go a little bit more into this. So like, and then like, like I said, the no, mask collecting, week. like I would say the way I would describe how I, like the image that I think sums up 2001 in a nutshell is the image of the Matanui Island with the infected how as half of it like that there i'd say sums up 2001 so much about mystery evil i don't know it's like there's so much i mean let's be honest 90 percent of this is nostalgia we all grew up 90 percent it's more like 95 percent also the tonga were adorable i love the tonga they're my favorite form of matoran even if they're not that posable i looked like the word tohunga and I mean, yes, maybe the Metro would have been a preferred build that came out earlier, but I like the original brighter colors and nostalgia display a lot, but they are just awesome. And like, oh, I love Makuta as a villain that first season. He was Matanui's brother. He was mysterious. And he appears as a lonely Matoran. Well, he appears how he wants you to appear. Exactly. But like, all this. Were you expecting something else? He was so... Something more like this? Then it just comes down to like, the everything like we also 2001 had more time to be crafted than any other year like I'm not sure the first three years i think were more or less crafted at the same time but i would say 2001 had the most time for it lego Lily had all their eggs in my i can't think of a single thing in 2001 i dislike i just find the biggest gripe i can find in 2001 is sometimes i get sometimes i get annoyed that the toa can't turn their heads in the sets but they can swing their arm and it's really, really fun to whack, whack, whack with stuff. That gear function is underrated. Sure, it might make posing a little annoying, but, I think everyone but it's this. fun. It's so underrated. I can poke a few holes or questions in the logic of the story, but nothing that I personally have gripes with. Just simply of, this doesn't make a lot See, of sense. I can't poke holes in the story because it left most of it ambiguous and mysterious. Which like, it basically said, someday we will explain this. And the fact that 2001... In the Madden Online game, okay, the Madden Online game was essentially the first bit of Bonkle lore, like, on the website. Like, it was releasing different sections, like, on different months. So, it was, like, and I think, it, like, people got to play that before comics came out. So, I think it was, like, the very first bit of Bonkle lore that people could experience. And in that game, you literally have them discovering Madden Nui's face, a giant robot. I mean, at this point, it's just some weird, like, metal, like, on the ground, basically, like, bedrock, but something that's harder. And you don't get it. And this is, like, it teases, like... It's amazing that stuff from, like, 2008, that, like I said, there's one reason I like 2008, because, like, it connected it all. Like, the fact that, you know, there was hints that Mananui was a giant robot. Like, yeah, very, very little hints. Like, it was very vague about it. But the fact that, that you basically got this grand issue that, and Bonkle, this is one reason why Bonkle was just good. Because up until 2008, there was always mystery about the world. Like, you, honestly, 2008, yeah, it did kind of demystify a lot of stuff it answered a lot of questions i would say it answered almost too many questions but yeah no 2001 like we could also do a whole video about just about 2001 like hey together. maybe we should because like we could I mean, we could we long. could dissect everything like individual parts we could dissect what we like about it so yeah so my ranking more or less um give me a quick second oh my gosh that's in his foot 
Um, I have basically as 2010, two. I'm gonna move that around. 2005, 2000. And you know what? I'm actually changing this again. Here, while you're figuring it out, I'll go with my relatively solid form. There we go. It's worst to favorite, 2010, 2008, 2005, 2002, 2004, 2003, 2001. So for the most part, is basically the further back it is, like it's the earlier it is, the more I like it, with a few exceptions. Yeah, I did bump 2009 a little bit up because talking about it, I'm like, yeah, I do like it. So 2008 essentially is pretty much middle of the pack. There, there's enough about it, despite me simping for it. Um, at this current moment, the way I wrote it down, it's kind of fluid, but we'll just uh, very fluid from the bottom to the top. Like it's 2010. Bonus. Go figure. 2005. Same. Same. 2009. Not quite. 2008. Not quite. 2004. Not quite. 2002. Mine's a bit lower. 2007. 2006. 2003. And at the top, 2001. So I guess it looks like, you know, while we all agree on the best and worst, I feel, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that mine's been the most differed on, in our opinions. Yours and mine. I feel like X is somewhere between us and ours. We all have the same top three, essentially. And I think the bottom two. They're not necessarily in the same my, order, yeah, but. His, his is at Boy Nui, Nui top three. I put Boy Nui way higher. Mine is a Boy Nui though. Oh, yeah. I, I, Mine's I, 04. I see, yes. Yeah, 04 right. simp. I will gladly take the term of 04 simp. But I will also say this. I believe um, we all had 05 as our second least favorite, right? 05? Mm -hmm. Or. No, my oh, yeah, you, third least right, favorite. Yeah, that was your but 04. Close. So we can all basically assume 010, worst. 05, pretty yeah. basically at the bottom, and then 03 and 01 are the best, are in the a couple of the best. I mean, none of us just say that 06 is bad. Like mine's the lowest, just because I like 04 more. What can I say? You know, this might be a good topic for something else, but I'm gonna throw it in here anyways. I just th realized it's really odd. The original wave of 04, the main villain, they never got on Lego. Nah. It was the more it was the more Buzak plot, which is actually probably my favorite aspect of that year. Okay, saying the more Buzak was the main villain is kind of a cheat. Yeah, the it was more of a red herring villain. It was more so a villain while we wait for the um, actual sets to come out. It was the Rahi of the original wave, only we never got this in Lego form. Granted, a Lego more Buzak probably would not have sold very well. Just a tiny little bit of a post-production, forgive the audio, but as an improper um, analogy as 01 only had Rahi as villain, 04 had the Vaki and the Titans. So saying the Morkabuza is um, equal to the Rahi is incorrect. The Morkabuza was just a filler villain while the Vaki wave actually came out, or more like while the story came out. The Vaki as sets and the Titan as sets are just as equal to the Rahi. The Morkabuza was literally just a story thing not the Rahi equivalent. Goodbye. But yeah, so that is our rankings. Um, yeah, they kind of differ um, for a bit. We could definitely tell that there's some that we all agree that we like and all agree we don't like. But yeah, the middle's all over the place. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to have to like edit the things for watching at the end of the first half because I'm just going to split this into two videos. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. We'll... Be interested to hear how you guys feel. Um, I'm talking to my one specific um, subscriber who comments the most. You you know who you are. Please tell us what years or what you think. I mean, I already can guess. So, thanks for watching. This has been the Total Podcast. And we are retiring from the night. <laughs>